Do you think a baby centaur would suck on the horse nipples or the human nipples? Why? Well, it's implied in Greek mythology that centaurs are male, they keep stealing human women. Given that idea, just an idea, mind you, no proven fact, their mates have to be human so it's human nipples. Does this HTTP .com be answer your question? The centaur sucks with its human half so it'd suck on the human nipples. The mother would lift it up as a human does. As a mom of two children, I can say without a shadow of doubt, it's whichever nipple is closest to the mouth while being snuggled. I don't know, but I would like to know which strain you're smoking because it sounds powerful. I can use my veterinary experience for this one. Foals are ducking heavy. They can stand minutes later, them bitches get horse teats because cradling a 100 plus pounds animal growing several pounds a week is no bueno on the human part of the back. I think the humans. They just look a lot juicier than a horse's and you'd be more drawn to that. Horse because can't reach human. Probably both. Centaurs are a kinky bunch. Horse nipples obviously. People always try to emphasize the human aspect of a centaur when really they're basically just horses that can hold stuff with their head hands. A gravid centaur would not have a pregnant person belly, it'd be in the horse parts, same as it would be on a regular horse. Same thing with the teats. One could also argue that the only organs in the human half would be the brain, maybe, the esophagus, lungs that take up the entire chest cavity, and a massive heart nestled in the waist that joins the the two halves. In short, centaurs are ducking weird, shoot them in the waist to kill them. Post nap edit, centaur anatomy https i.umgur.com ex.jpg and centaur baby https i.umgur.com xwoen.jpg Human nipples for sure, I thought. But then. I thought hmm holding a wee baby four legged horse bundle might be awkward, and then I hit on the real issue. Is a baby centaur born like a baby horse, able to stand and run within minutes to hours of birth? If they are, that baby centaur is gonna be born with a human upper body and brain of like a two or three year old. Otherwise, it's gonna be ducking daycare of the damned with little infant uppers running around on spindly horse legs and shit. If not, if the human brain is the main characteristic in this situation, does that mean that baby centaurs are carried around in slings and such until a certain age? Would they age into their motor skills more rapidly than a full human? This needs to be addressed. I like you, Rob. Asking the important questions, my friend. Portuno lost us? Applicable httpsi.pinamu.com originals 45591b45591 fafo 360say1bb9a74d50220825.jpg Horse, if the baby is on the ground, human if the baby can be cradled. I suppose them being interchangeable might be a desirable trait. I don't know. But now I think I should go to church this Easter Sunday. If Monster Musu may teach me something, they would certainly suck on the human nipples. You what? This was not what I was expecting opening Reddit. Centaurs are sort of messed up regardless. Think about where the chest cut off is, the human part is cut off below the heart, lungs and stomach. The horse part is cut off above the heart lungs and stomach. Do they have two hearts, four lungs and two stomachs? If it just looks like a mashup, where would you keep the heart? It's also really bothersome that it has six appendages, unlike any other mammal, so is a centaur more closely related to insects? If they are, they may lay eggs and not even breastfeed at all. HTTPS images. .com Omega Sart work images medium large one family of centaurs in a landscape unknown French painter. JPG forgive me, I'm on a phone. So I can edit very easily. Anyhow, 
so this is honestly something I've discussed way too much into with some friends. But basically they'd suckle from the human half of the centaur. No lifting up the kids, just resting down so the kid can reach. This provides the opportunity to have body contact that is positive for both the parent and child. Humans are social creatures that benefit from physical contact. Breastfeeding from the human portion seems the most fitting for this, leaving the mammaries on the horse portion redundant. I personally think for a centaur newborn to work properly, the physical body would need to be the equivalence of a 3-5 to five year old human as the horse is generally born with the development that is generally considered equal to those age groups and humans. So, the mindset of a newborn, but the developed body, strength, and such of a 3-5. to five. So this allows the infant to stand, hold its neck up, have teeth, and have a general sense of its surroundings. However, like the baby horse, its digestive system still isn't prepared to eat like an adult, so breastfeeding would be necessary, however not for much longer than maybe a few months. That part of the discussion I don't remember what we figured, but basic idea. This is such an amazing question. Thank you so much for posting. You should send this to Rush Hour Thoughts for more of that sweet sweet karma. My 10 year old, it would breastfeed, because the mouth part of the baby is human. I feel like I'm raising him right. Probably human. But my question is if horses can walk within hours of their birth and babies can't move their head for a few weeks to a month, what would really happen? Would the human half be limp while the horse half runs around? I'm assuming I got a lot of information wrong. It would suck on the horse dick. Both. As half horse and human, they would need both horse and breast milk for full nutritional value. I thought we've gotten past this kind of thinking in 2019. There are no human nipples or horse nipples on a centaur. Centaurs have centaur nipples and centaur teats and they are proud to be their own species. In that case, it's definitely the teats because the nipples are purely decorative. Both. The baby centaur would use the lower nipples until tall enough to use the higher nipples. Well I'd assume the human nipple since the part that will suckle is human. Both. The more nipples the merrier. Horse. More milk. If this shows up as a viral visual meme on Twitter in two weeks I'll be back to kill you. Just FYI. Nothing personal either I just can't handle any more viral internet banalities. It's always a pleasure opening Reddit and seeing the important questions are being asked. Why not both? You come into my house. You interrupt my nap with a notification for this question? I don't think a female centaur would have horse nipples at all if it has human breasts. Seems redundant. That's hands down the weirdest question. In a universe where women centaurs live and have both sets of nipples, it would still be horse nipples. They're at a better height for the centaur children, and holding a centaur child has to be awkward. I used to be obsessed with these dolls growing up called Monster High, there was a Monster High character who was half harpy half centaur and I sat for god knows how long trying to figure out how her parents had sex. Let alone how she she gave birth to her mashup child. Why the duck couldn't you ask a centaur? Obviously human nipples. The baby's mouths wouldn't be formed to suckle on the horse teats. The horse's nipples cause it's shorter. Me, do baby centaurs suck on the human nipples or horse nipples? Husband, aren't centaurs made when a person ducks a horse? Me, I think they're made from two centaurs, babe. Husband, okay, so dealer's choice. Why am I wasting my data reading this? Technically they are all centaur nipples horse. The logistics of a baby horse, even a centaur, makes the human nipples difficult to access. 
I would say both.5050 if you will. How does unicorn baby suck mother's milk? Human mouth goes on human nipples. Horse nipples for food, human nipples for fun. This is a very disturbing question. Human. The mouth is human, so it sucks on the human tit. Who wouldn't suck a human nipple? Why would it matter? I asked my mom whom I go to for all advice she said and I quote good god Nicole I don't know so if my mom doesn't know no one does. Whichever they choose, I guess. Free will and all that. Also what are you on and where can I get some?